Hello and welcome back to Model Maker Dave's Workbench and for those of you that are observant and very observant I've had a tidy up. Can't find anything but I've had a tidy up. <laughs> right so what's this video about? Well it's not about my mug of tea so we're getting that out of the way for a starters and we will bring in the angel interceptor that I've been working on um, now doesn't look that different from the top down however if I turn it over you've got some auxiliaries on there we got some there's my there's my pointy stick that will do we got some 20 millimeter cannons that I've put on now what I'm also thinking is chopping this bit off and chopping this bit off and replacing them with some brass uh, cannon 20 millimeter cannons just to give it a slightly better look uh, I've put an auxiliary fuel tank in as well um, I've had to make a new foot ski whatever you want to call it um, due to the fact that I knocked it off and I can't find it so it's gone to the gone to the carpet muncher so turning it back over I have started on this wing and continuing on this wing to do all the panel lines I've still to do all the panel lines on the side top round here um, now the 20 millimeter brass cannon barrels that I've seen you get a pack of four so I'm gonna have one on either side and there should be one, or there should be a machine gun here. So I think it's going to have a slightly more protruding gun barrel. But we're going to have a, it's going to be one there. The whole idea behind doing all of this is instead of it just being a standard Angel Interceptor, this one is a kick-ass angel interceptor it's going to have three cannons on it and it's going to be part of a new squadron that i've just invented called the reaper squadron so on the sides here and here and under here somehow i'm going to have some Grim Reaper type decals somehow don't know yet I haven't worked that bit out yet it's still going to be painted in white however where on on the box are uh, you've got this section here and around and down to the other side being red and the tips of the rear skis being red they're going to be black um, the tips up here are also going to be black um, that is about as far as I've got with the thinking on that at the moment however it could quite probably and will do change um, I've also put a little bit of detail in the cockpit because it was looking a bit empty in fact it was looking very empty so I don't know how much of it you'll be able to see so if I turn it up like that um, behind the pilot's seat and here was completely 
empty and devoid of anything so I've scratch built a small back panel um, don't know how correct it is but I don't think it really matters because I don't think you're going to see it very much I've made up my own control column with um, a control stick from another kit um, and I've put some used some very thin strips of masking tape to make up some to make up the seat harnesses which I've still got to paint uh, on on the rear instead of having the the awful end I've now used something else to give it a slightly bigger ass for want of a better word um, that's that's as far as I've got I've also painted up the canopy I've used some new masking fluid which I'm going to talk about in a minute which I think is rather good because it went on a lot better than the old humbral mascal or um, what's the other one that I've been using? You can't see it right now. Um, oh, is it gone? Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. It's the, um, oh, oh, sorry. Well, it's gone somewhere. Where it's gone, I've no idea. Oh, I'm not going to worry about it because I'm never going to use it again because I'm kind of converted over onto this new stuff that I'm using. Uh, it goes on a lot easier and you can spread it around a lot quicker so let me park that out the way and that and bring this stuff in it's called liquid mask and it's by VMS is it yeah VMS and what I like about it is you get a tiny little application tube which you can get right up close and squirt onto the canopy or the window or whatever it is that you want to mask and then you just use a, a rotten old brush like this to spread it around and to be fair it goes off just as quick as any other masking fluid but for the time that it's active, it's very easy to move around and get in the right place. And it comes off in exactly the same way that others does. You can just give it up. He says. Now tweezers, come on, tweezers. And get hold of it. Oh, come on. Come on. It will come off. Hole. Fiddle sticks. There we go. It's off. Done. And yeah, it's all right. It, I like it because it, it's a lot easier to work with than the humble mascal that I've been using recently and it doesn't stink anywhere near as bad as the mascal so got a bit more working time with it and no stinkage so thumbs up for me for that one if I can get this bit off I'll be even happier I want to do this off camera. Come on. Yeah, I'm going to have to do this off camera. I didn't put as much on this bit as I did on the other bit. Ah, got it. There you go. Not a bad job. Not a bad job at all. 
So, um, yeah, so if you can get hold of some of this stuff, it's quite a big tub. So it'll last you a long time. Uh, he's got, um, I'm not entirely sure why it's got a safety lid on it, but it's one of these, you've got to push it in and then it'll come off. So, yeah. Saw someone else using it on YouTube and thought, well, you know what, I'll give it a go. So the old uh, mask hole goes in the bin. Because that was horrible. And it stinks like I haven't, no, ugh, nasty. Uh, right, so apart from, I haven't done anything on the, I haven't done anything on the GR1 because I've been working on, on the Angel Interceptor. Um, so I shall probably have a go at that a little bit later on um, and do something on that what else have I been up to I've been up to me casting tricks again um, can't say as I've been successful if anything I've probably not been that successful at all however this one is, I was trying to make copies of the 20 millimeter cannons and this one is finally going off. What about this one? Yeah, that's, that's gone off. So these two I've done with, um, Millipup, and this one I've done with the, the Tamiya Epoxy Putty and I'm just literally waiting for it to harden up now because it's still a bit squidgy well not, not squidgy but there is a certain amount of flexibility in it whereas this one was a bit like that but is now finally gone a bit harder so I might be able to clean that one up and um, I don't think I'll be able to use it for anything because I don't think it's good enough but hopefully this will be the same so yeah I've just been mucking about really trying different things so I think I think that's it really for, for this for this update uh, the yeah, Angel is coming along, but I think definitely get the the cannon barrels for that. I think that will make it look a lot better. Oh, the other thing that I have done that I haven't told you is I've brought the nose down to a more of a point because in the kit it's very rounded. It's almost as if health and safety have got the mould and made it a more of a snub nose than a written and a pointed nose so I've um, made that um, it's not as it's not as sharp as what it is in in the photographs I've been looking at but it is definitely more defined as a point and the two flanges that was around here have also gone I, I sanded those off but I think I've got to go over the area with a little bit of um, Mr. Surfacer just to finish it off and uh, we, we, we are fast approaching some primer and then a and then some white and black and maybe a wash of some sort just to give it a slightly dirty appearance it's a bit of decals I think I'm going to use the normal ones here Maybe. Don't know. I'm I'm still thinking on that one. Yeah, I could do. Hmm. All right. We we we'll, we'll have a think. We'll have a think about that. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave it there. So I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. If you haven't done so, then please subscribe and I will see you in the next one.